Hi, I'm Professor Penny Lindeke, Head of Science for Marine Ecology at Plymouth Marine Laboratory. In collaboration with colleagues from Exeter University, King's College London and the Rosalia Project in America, we have just published a paper comparing how many microplastics are captured from the sea using nets of different mesh sizes. Microplastic debris is ubiquitous and yet sampling, classifying and enumerating this prolific pollutant in marine waters has proven challenging. Typically, waterborne microplastic sampling is undertaken using nets with a 333 micron mesh. In this study, we compared the amount and type of microplastic debris collected via surface trawls using 100, 333 and 500 micron nets. Our focus was on coastal waters, where microplastics are predicted to have the greatest influence on marine life, on both sides of the North Atlantic, so on the eastern seaboard of the USA and here off of Plymouth in the Western English Channel. Both the US and UK datasets reveal that sampling with a finer 100 micron net results in the capture of tenfold greater microplastic concentrations compared with using a coarser 500 micron net and a two and a half fold increase compared to using a 333 micron net. Based on the relationship between microplastic concentrations identified and extrapolation of our data using a power law, we estimate that microplastic concentrations could exceed 3,700 microplastics per metre cubed if a very fine net of one micron was used. We also demonstrated that finer nets result in the collection of significantly thinner and shorter microplastic fibres. Our results therefore suggest that the estimates of marine microplastic concentrations could currently be vastly underestimated. Indeed, there may be closer to 12 to 125 trillion microplastics floating in the global ocean. We surmise that sampling with finer nets gives a better representation of the type and amount of microplastic in the natural environment and helps provide a more reliable estimate of global microplastic budgets. In turn, this helps us to assess the risks that microplastic pose to marine animals, populations and ecosystems.